So with all the different red light therapy options out there, it can be quite confusing when you see a feature that one device has but another doesn't. One of those such features is pulsing, which seems to be trending right now. So in this video, we're gonna be discussing whether or not pulsing gives you any added benefits with a red light therapy device, or whether it can actually be causing you some harm. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutia here and welcome to the Mitochondria YouTube channel. On this channel, we discuss the topics around light, circadian rhythms, and how these things can be optimized so that you can live your best life. Now in today's video, we're talking about the topic of pulsing, which you will see many red light therapy companies are now offering with their devices. So what we're gonna do is unpack what that means and whether or not you should be looking for a device that has a pulsing feature. So by now you've probably heard of red light therapy and you know what it does. It uses red and near infrared light in order to stimulate energy within your cells. Now we've got about 50 years worth of research on this and one of the things that is now being used is pulsing is actually nothing new. So pulsing, in case you didn't know, is the flickering on and off of a light and it was used many, many years ago when people were using lasers in order to do red light therapy. Now the idea behind pulsing was that by having the light switch on and off, you wouldn't have the same risks that lasers posed. So laser devices, they can actually cause you to burn and to cause thermal heating. So by having a laser pulsing on and off, it means that your tissues don't overheat and therefore it elicited more of a benefit. Now the reality is, now that we use LED devices in most of red light therapy technology, this isn't actually a risk. LED lights notoriously don't emit the same heat, so it doesn't actually pose that same risk. So there is actually no warrant for having a pulsing technology within an LED-based red light therapy device. Now that doesn't mean that there aren't companies out there who are now creating devices that pulse and therefore make them look somehow better than their competitors, but the clinical evidence doesn't show that there's any merit to having a pulsing light when your red light therapy device is LED based. Now, there can also be risks associated with a pulsing light. And this is quite interesting. I've been in the red light therapy space for about four or five years now. And right in the beginning, there was a big move towards a flicker-free light. People learned that a flickering LED light can cause harm. It can give you eye strain or it can give you headaches. And one of the marketing things back then was to have a flicker-free device. And this makes complete sense. But now it's come full circle and it seems like flickering is all of a sudden a good thing. And what you're seeing is companies are now referencing the old studies where they were talking about this pulsing light that somehow led to an increased benefit. But there isn't any evidence to suggest that that actually works with an LED red light therapy device. If anything, you're probably actually getting less light exposure because the light is switching off and on. So with a pulsing light, A, you might actually get some side effects like headaches or eye strain but B, you're also delivering less light to your cells and therefore you actually have to increase your treatment time or you're just not gonna see as much of a benefit because you're not delivering the same light dose. Now I know how confusing it can be to pick a red light therapy device with all of these features. So what I'm gonna do is in the comment section or in the description, sorry, you will see a link and on that page, it will show you the main specifications that you need to look for in a red light therapy device so that you can actually get the results that you see in the clinical studies. If you have any questions from today's video, then feel free to drop them in the comments section below. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, then make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the future videos that come out on this channel. Again, drop the questions below if you have any. Otherwise, I hope that you have a fantastic day further and we will chat again soon. Cheers.